Hello, this is Brooks Whittington with HalfWheel.com. Today we're taking a look at the Jetline H Steel, a double guillotine cutter that the company introduced earlier this year during the 2022 TPE trade show. Now this is a 60 ring gauge double guillotine cutter and what that means is you can fit a 60 ring gauge cigar right in that opening and cut it all the way through if you so desire. I was able to use it on uh, cigars up to about 70 ring gauge just to cut the cap off with no problems whatsoever. Now the name H steel refers to the blades of the cutter which the company says are made from hardened steel a process where metal is heated up before being quickly cooled in water or oil in order to make the steel stronger. Now, one of the primary advantages to this hardened steel is added resistance against wear and abrasion. It's also typically ever better able to resist rust and corrosion compared to just regular standard stainless steel. Now, this cutter comes in four different colorways. They're all exactly the same except for the colors. One of them is black with orange highlights. One of them is orange with black highlights. As you can see here, this is that one. One of them is gray with black highlights, and one of them is neon green with black highlights. All four of them cost the exact same $24.99, and all four of them come with this nice little leatherette carrying pouch. Now, in terms of physical specifications, the entirety of the exterior of the cutter is made of plastic. And there is this design, as you can see here uh, in the middle section, that has these raised diamond patterns. Uh, and uh, that's pretty cool to me. I mean, it's a, I love the look visually. Um, in, in addition, both of the finger holes, as you see here, have a, have a, a different highlight and a little section of plastic there. It's a, it's a very nice look visually to me. Um, now, the cutter measures 3.7 inches long when it's closed and 4.7 inches long when it's open thusly. It weighs just under one ounce, 0.98 ounces, and is 0.34 inches thick with a total width of 1.58 inches. Now, just a note about the hardened stainless steel blades that Jetline is saying that this cutter has. Uh, Jetline, Jetline's website says that hardened steel blades mean that you never have to worry about sharpening or ever becoming dull. Uh, the problem is we have no way to test that, and this seems to be claiming to solve a problem that really doesn't exist. It's not that sharpness is not important, of course. It's just more that sharpness doesn't seem to be where most cutters go wrong. Plenty of cutters, in fact, are very sharp and can't cut cigars from day one. And so we really don't have a way to test the sharpness of a blade. And so just take the marketing uh, with a grain of salt. All right, now that's all over. It's time to cut some cigars. So as I mentioned before, the H Steel is a fairly typical uh, design when it comes to double guillotine cutters. And so when you use it, it actually is uh, very, very simple to use and should be very familiar with anybody, to anybody who's actually used a double guillotine cutter. Uh, as you can see, it's a very, very simple process. You basically just pick the cutter up, as you see here, put your fingers in the holes. You take the cap of the cigar and you put it into the opening. You might want to see exactly how much you can cut off. Well, it's not the case with all of the double guillotine cutters uh, on the market, certainly. Uh, but this one is certainly that way without a back on it. You can see exactly how much or how little you want to take off. And so uh, you put the uh, cap into the opening. You make sure that it the cut is as straight as possible. And then you want to just push both of those opening, uh, both of those uh, uh, levers through uh, at the same time in a nice, even motion. When you do that, you end up with a very nice and clean cut. Now, as I said, there were some uh, very few times when I had some problems with, you know, hanging tobacco, things of that nature. Uh, it did not happen very often. This is a very typical cut, um, very straight, very clean uh, when it comes to, you know, not having anything left over. And uh, the wrapper is intact, as you can see. Uh, very, very consistent in terms of that. Uh, probably 5% of the, 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 um, the cigars that I cut with it I had issues with. Uh, and that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good uh, rate. Okay, now that the uh, cigars have been cut, I thought I'd go through a uh, list of good things and bad things that I found out about the H Steel uh, in the five weeks or so that I was uh, that I was using it. Now I cut pretty much every cigar that I smoked over that five-week period with this cutter, 
and um, you know different sizes, different vitolas, and I, you know I, I think that in general uh, a, a double guillotine blade is uh, cu- blades is is really one of the easiest design cutters to actually get a, a decent cut with, even if you don't necessarily know what you're doing. And the H Steels is no different in that regard. You can easily pick it up and you can you know, use it and, you know, get a very, very good cut just about every single time. And that's really one of the best things about this cutter is that it's consistent. Um, it's, it's, it's easy to use. It's, it's consistently, you know, good at doing what it needs to do. And it does it pretty much every time. And that's really the, the best thing about it. Um, you know, I, when I picked it up, I knew that I was probably going to get a very good cut. Uh, I had minor issues with, you know, little shelves of tobacco or something left over after a few different um, cigars, but for the most part, um, vast majority of cigars were, were really, really cut very well. And that's, you know, it's a testament to, you know, to the, to the, uh, to the, to the cutter and, and how easy it is to use and how well they you know, the cigars were cut. Now, there were a couple of other things I really loved about it. One of them is the weight. It's very, very light, uh, under an ounce. And, you know, it makes a big difference when you actually, you know, are taking this and putting it into your pocket and, you know, walking around with it. Um, I don't have to worry about, you know, it clanking against my, you know, my thigh or something in my pocket or, or, or whatever it is. I can even put it in my front pocket of my shirt and, and forget, you know, pretty much forget about it. And um, the, you know, the times that I did put it in my pocket with like a lighter or something, um, the the lighter was quite a bit heavier than, <laughs> than the cutter. And it's nice to be able to, to do that. Now, finally... Um, really really great thing about it is the fact that it is made of plastic the exterior is made of plastic but uh it it really shows very very little wear as you can see there's very few marks there's very few even you know indications that it's been used as long as it has and i mean i dropped it multiple times um concrete and you know things of this nature uh and there's just very very little overt um you know signs that it was used hardly at all, and that's really, really great when you're talking about something um, that has that combination of, you know, durability and being able to know that you can get a good cut with it pretty much every time. Now, having said all of that, we've uh, got some things on the uh, the bad list as well, and and it really the the main one comes down to price and value. Uh, this is a uh, twenty four ninety nine is quite a bit of money for a cutter. Uh, with an exterior that's made of plastic and especially when there are other cutters that cost significantly less while cutting cigars as well or even better uh, for example the craftsman's bench which is a uh, five dollar cutter um, that cuts as well if not better than the h steel uh, and it also has uh, it also is able to cut cigars a little bit larger as well um, y- you mean it, the value just isn't there when you're talking about having um, you know a 25 dollar cutter with versus a five dollar cutter and both of them cut cigars basically the same way um there's also a problem with the weight as well i mentioned before that the light weight can be a very good thing and it can be when you're you know carrying it around being able to throw it in your pocket um however it can also have some problems when it comes to balance of the cigar when you ba- uh, balance of cutting the cigar when you're actually taking the cap and putting it into the opening um, I like to have a little bit of heft to the cutter so that you can give it a little bit more balance to push through. And this just does not have that. It's not a huge deal and it's not something that is not going to make me, you know, make me not want to buy the, 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 li- the cutter if everything else is great. But it's definitely something to be aware of when you're actually, you know, choosing to uh, use it on different types of uh, caps. So after all of that, can I recommend the Jetline H Steel? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Look, the H-Steel is a very good cutter, and it does exactly what it's supposed to do, and does it well. But that doesn't really matter in a world where you have a cutter like the Craftsman's Bench from J.C. Newman, which does the exact same thing as the H-Steel, but costs a fifth of the price. So, to put it simply, you can have one H-Steel at $25, or you can have five of the Craftsman's Bench, or you can have one H-Steel, $25, and you can have three Craftsman's Bench and a $10 bill for a latte. Sure, the H Steel has the hardened blades, according to the company, but I really didn't find that that made much of a difference in actually cutting cigars. So as long as J.C. Newman is going to continue to sell the Craftsman's Bench for $5, the math is just never going to work out for the Jetline H Steel. 
That's my recommendation. For more news and reviews of cigars and accessories, go to halfwheel.com.